Hi, Sarah here from the Organising School. I just wanted to check in with you about memorabilia. It's something that a lot of our clients have an issue with and it's definitely something that I found challenging. So I just wanted to share how I manage my memorabilia. So the first thing I do is I set parameters around what I will keep and I ask myself some questions. So things like, how much do I love this item? Can I use it? And is it worth taking up space in my home? So I'll just show you what I've kept. I've um, got a box in the garage that I won't show you, but um, I've allowed myself one box. It holds items from my childhood and I love looking through it, but I know that I won't allow myself to go over that one box because I don't have the space and I probably wouldn't look, at, look through more than that. Okay, so I'll just show you, I'll just come behind the camera and show you what I've got. So I've got two display cabinets that holds um, memorabilia and some of it I use. So there's a dining, um, a dinner set, sorry, from my grandparents that I'll use if I have people over for dinner. And then I use some of my memorabilia. I've got this fruit knife and I use that to open letters. And this little case comes from one of my grandparents and it holds all my travel journals. And this little elephant uh, I remember so dearly from my childhood brings back lovely memories and I use it to hold my dog leads. So how much memorabilia do you keep and do you have parameters around how much and what you will